Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Parisa Saga and this little place on the internet is called The Beauty Saga. I am so excited for today's video because this is my 2021 yearly roundup of all the best makeup. Favorites videos are my favorite videos to film, so this is like all of my favorites throughout the course of the entire year all put into one video so this is like probably my favorite video to film each year all step of makeup face cheeks eyes lips we're gonna go through what is in my opinion the best of the best you cannot go wrong with these so make sure you're in your comfy cozies maybe get a little beverage we're gonna be here a while i can already tell you this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video than i like to put up usually enough of my bleh, let's just jump right in <laughs> okay so i think i'm gonna go in the order i apply my makeup just so i don't confuse myself <laughs> I'm pretty sure this primer launched this year. This is the Milani Bright Side Illuminating Primer. So this is like a really almost like lightweight lotion texture that completely absorbs into the skin. There's no shimmer or like pearl or anything like that. It just leaves the skin looking hydrated. And I feel like it has just enough of a smoothing effect that it glides over texture really, really nicely. And part of why it's such a standout for me is because I have such oily, acne prone skin that when I see like illuminating, I get a little scared. I'm thinking like, oh no, it's gonna make me greasy. This does not make me greasy at all. It makes my makeup look really nice all day long. It smells vaguely of oranges, which is very pleasant, and it's just sort of like the cross between skincare and primer. A plus. Okay, this is the Rare Beauty. They, they always have like crazy names, like always an optimist, something, something, a uh, pore diffusing primer. This one has a really nice pump, which I love. And when you first look at it, you're like, oh no, that's gonna be one of those like silicone-y, like make me super greasy but not at all it has a very unique texture very blurring pore diffusing and it wears great all day it's very like lightweight silky everything i'm looking for in a primer i'm really surprised that more people did not love this primer because i have like these huge crater pores and as the day goes on makeup just like sinks into them this prevents that from happening and it's actually like wonderful when you have like serious texture issues on your skin i think the rare beauty pore diffusing primer is a little underrated and then last but certainly not least in the this is like a, a hybrid between skincare primer luminizer highlighter this is the auric glow lust this product kind of does it all <laughs> I'll show you a swatch here. I have the shade Cellionite. I'm probably not saying it right. I'll put it on the screen. It's just this beautiful, like, warm, gorgeous, like, champagne-y warm glow. So how this usually fits into my routine is I actually use it as a liquid highlighter on top of my makeup at the end, but on, like, very literal no makeup makeup days. I put this as the last step of my skincare on the highest points of my face and like under my eyes especially because it does have all like that skincare and hydration benefit and then just pop a little bit of concealer and it just makes you look more like perked up and awake but with like a literal no makeup makeup look it just makes you look like you have the healthiest most hydrated radiant luscious skin so I also like using it that way. This bottle is huge. It's going to last me forever. The L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. I did do a dedicated video to this uh, skin... What is, it? what is it a skin tint? Is it a twin tint moisturizer? Who knows? I did do a dedicated review and like wear test and I love this. Blown away by the coverage. And it is so blurring it's like what pores what pores and it has this really interesting mix of like aloe vera and witch hazel so 
I think the thing that makes this so special for me is I realized I didn't need to touch up through the day. It's like the aloe vera was like keeping my skin hydrated, but the witch hazel was soaking up any breakthrough oils I would have gotten in my T-zone. So I like barely ever slash could totally get away with not touching up at all while wearing this. And it just stayed looking the exact same all day. Amazing. Y'all, I've been sleeping on NARS Sheer Glow and I'm gonna blame the name of the foundation. Sheer Glow makes it sound like it's gonna be sheer and glow. Am I wrong? This is actually a beautiful medium coverage foundation. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. Like one pump blended all over my skin this is amazing coverage. What they meant by sheer glow is that there's a sheer amount of glow, like enough to make it look like skin, but it's a really got your back kind of foundation. My only gripe is that this foundation is expensive and then they make you buy a pump on top of it. Like, can the pump come with it? I mean, you're paying that much for a foundation, can the pump just come with it? Like, that's my only like gripe about this. Beautiful amount of coverage with like such little product. It sits on the skin beautifully. It does not like enhance my texture, the honeycomb situation, the fine lines. Like it just really looks like your skin. I have no issues wearing it for like 14 hours as long as I blot a couple times because I will get like a little bit shinier than I want in my T-zone. But it is seriously like model skin in a bottle. It's amazing <laughs> leads me to the milani supercharged brightening under eye tint this is amazing though it's like skincare meets makeup it's got hyaluronic acid in it it's got caffeine in it and it's like a tint so it color corrects but you can still see your skin through it's like hydrating serum-y feeling blends in like a dream. And I can tell on days that I don't have this on because my under eyes are infinitely like less hydrated and healthy looking. I'm wearing it today under concealer. That's how I wear it the most. And it layers beautifully, just adds a layer of hydration. It's excellent. The Neutrogena, what do they call this? Radiant Cream Concealer. I love this. I spoke about this earlier in the year in a favorites video. So what I like to do to apply this is just like put it where I want it under my eyes and let it sit. That's the trick. You got to let it sit for a minute and get tacky. And then I find it's best to blend it out with your fingers. It's flawless. I never imagined that I would only like a medium coverage concealer or that I would like one that wasn't completely matte, but this changed my mind. If you let it get tacky and you blend it with the warmth of your fingers, it really keeps its pigmentation. It wears so well under the eye, like it's so forgiving on fine lines. It's just like exceptional. It revolutionized my concealer preferences, so thank you. <laughs> this is the one I'm wearing today. If I had to truly pick a favorite concealer of the year, this would win. This is the Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have mine in the shade 320. Um, it's honestly getting a little bit dark for me. I bought it during the summer when I was like tan and lovely. This is the fullest of the full coverage. You don't need that much. You just kind of dot it where you want coverage. Doesn't matter how you blend it out, doesn't matter how quickly you blend it out, you're gonna have impactful coverage. I love this one, especially when I'm just gonna put like a little under my eyes, a little around the redness around my nose and like the discoloration around my mouth and I'm gonna go foundationless. This is the that girl because she can like, she can hang on the face, cover any blemishes. It is so comfortable under the eyes. 
This is an all day wear kind of concealer. Again, I'm comfortable in it for 14, 16 hours at a time. It doesn't get drier or do any sort of weird creping, cracking, nothing. Like this is an all day wear, full, full coverage, but it looks almost undetectable, especially if you blend it really, really well. Like, you can fool people into just thinking you got a full eight hours of sleep. I'm like, is that a highlighted piece or did I get foundation in my hair? Hard to tell. <laughs> Hard to tell. Kosas Cloud set. I mean, if you've watched any of my videos or anyone on YouTube's videos, you won't be surprised to see this. Um, I'm in the shade Breezy. I wore this when I was tan. I wore this now that I'm Fair. It pretty much is just like a really good shade for me. This is like the best for setting under your eyes. It is not drying at all. It's almost like invisible, but like I mean that in the best way. Like it doesn't like leave a powdery feel. It just sort of like locks in the makeup, mattifies, does what it's supposed to, but doesn't make it dry. I also really like it in the T-zone. It's very just like good with the pores, smoothing, doesn't look like powder. This is one of the best of the year. And then Glowish by Huda Beauty. This did not get received well and I love it. So this is the um, Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder. Um, I'm in the shade Fair Light which I would honestly say is a medium. That's pretty deep. <laughs> Again, I bought this this summer when I was tanner and like, good thing I only dusted on the perimeters of my face. That's how I like to wear it. So I take a big fluffy brush and just kind of like graze around the sides of my face to add like life and luminosity and set in those areas. I don't like it in the center of my face. I do find it is too like enhancing for my pores. But on the perimeters of the face, on the outside of the face, it just gives this like angelic luminosity and glow. Sets makeup really, really well for all day wear. And I really enjoyed this. I'm kind of sad it got such bad reception because it's, it's really good in my opinion. And then the drugstore came out with the infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder. This stuff is so good. I don't think that this is like my perfect shade. I think this is the shade I could find because it was so hyped that I just picked up 130 True Beige. It's a little light for me, but the coverage is amazing. The smoothing is amazing. It's like you put this, especially like right here where I have those enlarged pores and like it, it looks like I'm like a walking Instagram filter. Like what pores? It wears beautifully. It's so good at oil control too. This is the perfect kind of like powder to throw in your bag for touch-ups too. Even comes with a sponge that has like a little mirror, you know? So very like touch-up friendly and just the most smoothing, amazing long wear. Like the drugstore did that. This is the Essence Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder. It is like the softest powder ever. It has the lightest sheen. It's not like glittery or chunky and it just gives your skin like this very like healthy kissed by the sun look. It's such a nice powder especially if you're wearing like a more matte foundation or a more matte powder and then you put this on it just gives life back to the face and it's like five dollars for this giant pan. The tone is exceptional, the texture, the blendability. And then the one I'm wearing today, this is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. This is actually in the shade that I thought wouldn't work for me, but totally does. It's Sunrise. Looking at it in the pan, I hope you can see that. It almost looks like pink, like it'd be a blush but I'm wearing it as my bronzer all over my face. It definitely gives like a sun-kissed, bronzy, yet sculpted, kind of one and done look. 
The texture is very soft. It's not, I wouldn't say it's quite as like silica feeling as the, the Essence one. Um, and it's very luminous. There is a little bit more of a glittery shimmer quality to this one. So you have to be careful not to overdo it, but applied just like lightly dusted all over the face, even used as like a bronzer topper. I just have it as my only bronzer, but definitely if you use it as a bronzer topper, you'll get that same, just like so much life to the skin, but it's really beautiful. And this tone is like super unique and just flattering. The drugstore is just killing it with the quality. Like both of these bronzers are just as good as the hourglass bronzers and they're at a fraction of the price. The LYS, this is the higher standard satin matte cream blush. Okay, so they piqued my interest with satin matte cream. As an oily skin girl, I'm like, tell me more, tell me more. Um, I did not give these enough love throughout the year on my channel. I ended up buying every single shade like one at a time because I just like loved them so much. Um, I do have two standout favorites. The first one is Self Love, which is this beautiful like mauve tone. And the other one is Confident, which honestly you're probably looking at it and going, that's the exact same shade. No, this one's just a little bit more nude. They do have like more punchy colors in the range and like a beautiful peach. I just have obviously like blush preferences. <laughs> Up top is Confident and then on the bottom is Self Love. So hopefully you can see like one is definitely more of like a neutral and one is more of a mauve. I promise they look a little different on the cheeks. These are pigmented but they blend like a dream. They really are a satin matte, like a beautiful lovely soft matte cream blush and they you don't have to set them and they will wear all day on your cheeks. They are so impactful. This was like the year of cream blush. So another one that I really like is, this is from Melt. This is called their Cream Blush Light. My favorite shade is the shade Honey Thief, which is this beautiful, just like pinky peach perfection. It's what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. So it's like, can go with a neutral look, has a little bit of a, like a creamsicle punch. It's so beautiful. This formula is definitely more emollient and dewy, honestly, than the LYS ones. Hopefully you can see that, I can't tell, yes. It'll give you more of that like luminous, glowy, juicy, dewy cheek if that's what you're after. But I actually set mine with another blush favorite. This is the powder version of Honey Thief. So us oily skin girls, sometimes we gotta double down. So you can see they are like a little bit different. The cream is a little bit more pink leaning. The blush is a little bit lighter and more peach leaning. They pair perfectly together though. And then you got a locked in cheek that literally wears all day. Uh, Glowish also came out with blushes. I bought all four and I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of underwhelmed with them until I started playing with this one. This is uh, the shade four, Charming Cherry. So if you look in the pan, it has this like marbled effect, which makes it look really cool. But when you swirl this one all together, it just gives you like the most like luscious, cherry, like burnt, flushed, like almost like a Charlotte Tilbury kind of sexy color. It's so flattering. It makes you look so lively and like zhuzhed. I kind of want to put some on right now. This is like such a fun color. I'm going to add like a little bit on my cheeks. Hopefully you'll see what I'm talking about. Do you see how like that flush just looks so youthful? And like, oh, I woke up like this, supermodel vibes. Formula is really nice. Little goes a long way, super blendable. This wears forever, shockingly long wearing because my skin, because of how oily it is, can just blush up like it's nothing. This is, and you can see it gives a little, just a little glisten on the apple right there. Ugh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
I can't get into the package because of my fake nails. Okay, there we go. So this year, I finally picked up Max Warm Soul. It looks like nothing in the pan, really. It looks like like a beige. I know I'm like a billion years late to the game. It doesn't like look like much in a swatch and honestly, it's just the effect it gives. So my favorite way to wear this is put some sort of cream blush that I know isn't gonna last like super long on its own. And I don't wanna change the color of the cream blush too much. I just wanna set it and add this like effect. It's so smooth. It's got a bit of gold reflect in it and it just juices up the whole cheek area. I love that it doesn't dramatically change the color of the cream blush I put underneath it. It just locks it into place, zhuzhes up the cheek, gives me those like, I love when the little apples on my cheek are glistening without like texturizing the pores. It's a fine balance. So Max Warm Soul, I get the hype. I'm sitting like less and less professionally as this video goes on because my butt's getting numb in the position it was in. Okay, so Catrice came out with this face and body highlighter. It's, I think it's called Sungasm. Yep, Sungasm, that's the name of the actual blush. Look at this big mama. You thought the bronzer was big? You could do someone's whole body. This is beautiful though. Oh my god, this is like rose gold dreams. I would even say it's more like rose champagne flashing. And it can be built up to be just like absolutely blinding and beaming like from space. But you can like buff just a little bit in if you want like a little bit more of a subtle glow, which is what I usually do on the day to day. It has that same like wonderful silica feeling as the bronzer. It's just super blendable, wears really, really well, stays in place and the color's phenomenal. And like with, the, with this kind of value, like what, how is Catrice doing this? I have questions. And then the highlight I'm wearing today, so beautiful got totally dumped on by the YouTube space. Everyone hates this highlight. This is the Buxom White Russian highlight. So it's like kind of hard to explain. It's pink and a lot of people were saying it turns up gray on their skin. That's never happened for me. Like it just looks like cool toned but not in a dead zombie way. I even like kind of debated whether I should even put this in here because it was limited edition. So the only place you can even find it now is Ulta's have it on clearance racks in the buxom section. But when I found out they were discontinuing it, see, even in a swatch on my hand, I don't see that gray cast that everybody's talking about. To me, it just looks like beautiful, like pinky, dreamy, soft, fairy perfection. Like I love it. I wear it all the time like super buffed out on my skin and I have really strong yellow undertones in my skin. Like I think if it was gonna look ashy it would on me but I don't know, I believe people. I believe them. It's just not my experience with the highlight. But when I found out they were discontinuing it, I bought literally two other ones because I love it that much. I think it's that special of a color. Okay, so Melt came out with what they call the Sex Foil Digital Highlights this summer. Very exciting launch. Um, Stargazer is, is that the name of it? Did I say that right? Yes, Stargazer is such a unique and beautiful shade. It's like a really pinky gold champagne, all the colors all at once, opalescent. Like it's, it's stunning. And um, this is meant to be a body highlighter. And I will maybe someday go out you know and like live an actual life and not just work every day and whatever but i, I wear it on my face <laughs> and it's beautiful i just tap honestly like this is gonna last me forever because i use it on my face but i just tap it into like my cheekbones and it like melts in it is so beautiful. When I was tanner this summer when these launched, I also picked up the shade Peaches and Cream. Look at this peachy, like delicious, golden dreamsicles. Oh, 
it looked beautiful on me. I think it's a little too deep right now, but uh, uh, I'll be getting my use out of it next summer again. Really impressed with the formula though. I mean, it just like, it just like becomes one with your skin and like looks amazing juicy healthy radiant lovely skin melt knocked it out of the park elf released these no budge shadow sticks i use them as highlights let me explain um i have two favorites i really like champagne crystal and perfect pearl i'll swatch them for you seeing them side by side they're virtually the same color <laughs> so on the top is the champagne crystal and on the bottom is the perfect pearl the only difference is like perfect pearl is a little warmer but honestly they're almost the exact same color probably why i love them both and use them interchangeably and have never really noticed that they're basically the identical color what i love so much about these and why i categorize them as highlights is because because they're in this like easy little stick form you can just like put it on your inner corner highlight your nose, cupid's bow, like anything that you want a precision highlight under the brow, like anything, especially this makes, this makes highlighting your nose like the easiest. And then there are these like long wearing eyeshadow formula. So your inner corner highlight, your nose highlight, your cupid's bow highlight stays all day. Like it sets and it's not going anywhere. And I can't not talk about my beloved Milani total face palette. This is the light to medium. There is a medium to dark as well. This has everything. This has a beautiful highlight, a bronzer, three beautiful eyeshadows, uh, like a blush topper or like glowy blush and then a nice like matte blush option when i'm like busy tired like don't want to think about it i love having palettes like this where everything just goes together i don't have to think about the eye look i don't have to think about my bronzer or blush i just know that the blush is going to match the eyeshadows is going to match the highlight is going to match the bronzer and it's going to look beautiful this is like the best 15 dollars you will spend if you are a girl on the go you know and it's also great for taking for touch-ups too so i got really into soap brows as did everyone and their mom this year um love the makeup revolution soap styler this got me hooked like hooked on that laminate brow effect i still think this is like eight dollars well worth spending especially since the brush is actually usable and will get your brows up. I love this product. I raved on it earlier in the year and I was just like addicted to like laminating my brows up as high as they will go. Love that product. But um, if I haven't made this clear, I'm very busy and I don't have a lot of time to do any of the things I wanna do like even sleep. So I got lazy and I found alternatives they give you the same effect. NYX came out with the brow glue. Oh my God, this is so lovely. It's got this little itty bitty baby spoolie. It's literally like soap glue for your brows. You can just zhuzh them up so fast and they keep that brow like laminated effect like the soap brow, but a lot quicker, especially if you like press it down. And this stuff is like, it only comes off when you tell it it's time. And then of course, because I got into feathered brows, I got into brow pens. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I got mine in the shade black, which you think would be like scary and intimidating. It's not at all. It has the most like little precise point. You can just make the quickest little hair light strokes. It is like a tint. So it's not going to Sharpie marker. There was a bit of a learning curve. Um, <laughs> I think I actually might have used it on camera for the first time. Anyway, I did my brows first, thank goodness, because I overshot a couple hairs and like I had to clean up a little bit. But once you get used to it, you can just flick some hairs on and like you look like you were born with the fullest, fluffiest, most luxurious brows. So for eyes. Uh, my preferences have like dramatically changed. I used to just like love having 
the craziest cut crease and all this stuff but I became a one and done girl again it's like the time thing is I just gotta like slather something on my eye and like blend it out and it's gotta like look pretty <laughs> so I fell in love with this uh, Revlon it's in Tantrum this is the so fierce eye palette I love this like warm brown it's so beautiful this taupe is amazing and like the formula on these is so awesome so it's like so soft and like do you see how shiny and reflective it is but you can totally like blend them out so sheer for just like a wash of color you can build them up to be amazing like and you can mix so if you just like take your brush I like to especially mix the red with the warm brown if you tap between the two of them they mix together on the eye and create a custom shade you can clean up with the pearl this has been just like the best like one and done easy eye palette I fell in love again with the Revlon color stays these little cream pots that like were all the rage like six years ago I love the shade caramel which is a cooler tone brown again this is like the perfect just all over one and done slap it on your eye blend it up in the crease you're out the door and I also really like the one that's called honey look at this gold color stunning and once these shadows set they stay all day they don't crease you don't have, even have to wear a primer underneath them like amazing easy girl makeup here my palette favorite is gonna seem so boring <laughs> but it truly is my favorite palette this is from makeup by mario this is his master mattes and you're looking at this going that looks like 10 shades of yawn like it's brown but like the undertones are so special and like it just everything you want they're like he, I think he said like I was watching a video somewhere where he was saying that they they're skin tone inspired and I can totally see that because they just shape your eye and like make it look so beautiful they have the best undertones the matte black and the deep brown make perfect liners and of course I'm gonna sing this palette's praises like everyone else it's the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today this is Patrick Ta's major dimension everyone and their mom is uh like gonna put this in their favorites I love this again the mattes are all so blendable I use like these two the most this palette is very deceiving because of this one warm shade you think it's a warm palette but it's actually very neutral you can get a true like neutral bronze this is my favorite of the shimmers it's the one I got all over my eyes today I love this light shade I wear it on the inner corners down my nose like it looks it looks deceivingly like this palette's much warmer than it actually is it's actually a fairly like neutral bronze palette and that's why I love it so much is because I can pair it with a warmer lip or a warmer cheek or a cooler lip and a cooler cheek and I can wear it with whatever I'm feeling like and the palette always goes it was an expensive palette but the quality is there the textures everyone's raving about this palette <laughs> I don't need to go on I'm sure you've heard it like 10 times already this is the Alme lift and length mascara I do use the waterproof version I love this mascara it has a bristle wand which I love and you can just keep building to your heart's content as much length and as much volume as you want the waterproof doesn't irritate my eyes it's amazing it's such a truly like buildable special formula and then my other one is actually the one I'm wearing today this is the hourglass unlocked instant extensions mascara this gives a decent amount of volume I'd say this is way more lengthening than anything else and it's supposed to be a tubing mascara which I do find to be true for the most part I can get most of it off with like warm water in my fingers which I hope does less damage to my lashes over time we'll see really like slim wand though so you can like wiggle it at the bases get it all the way up through perfect for the bottom 
and uh, it holds my curl all day. I love wearing this one to work, especially um, when I'm like working like 12 hours straight, have my makeup on for 16, like I get home and I can just get the mascara off really easy. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have some like va va voom, like lengthy lashes today. I love the Hourglass. One of my favorites is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick in Golden Pear. This is such a beautiful, like, warm nude shade. Absolutely stunning. And then I love these Chapstick brand Total Hydrations. Um, warm nude is probably my favorite favorite. It's just like a beautiful, like, yeah, warm, almost pinky nude. And then this one is Sunset Nude, which is just like much more of a berry tone. They're all very sheer though. I love that you can just like, these are literally, these are literally chapstick. So you can put them in your pocket. You can reapply without a mirror. Easy, easy, easy makeup. Love that. And then another one in that same category is Burt's Bees. This is Red Dahlia. This one is actually probably the sheerest of them but it really does like leave an impact on your lips where they look just like healthy, zhuzhed up with color. Those are truthfully like my most worn colors, you know, like at work, I have to like constantly be putting a mask on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And so it's just easier for me to just wear chapstick. It wears down. If I throw my mask on, it doesn't transfer into the mask, but it gives my lips like enough color to balance out whatever I look I'm wearing. So Benefit put out the Professional Super Setter. I swear this one, I put it on like three different times during my makeup application, especially as like the final, final step. But I like put it once I got like my foundation and powder on. And then again, once I got like my blush and bronzer on, I put it on. And then once everything's done, I do like a final spritz. I swear that this stops makeup entirely from transferring in a mask. It's like even more powerful than All Nighter. And everyone else is gonna mention the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Again, this one really extends the wear of makeup. It makes it really like mask transfer proof. But also this one has, there's something so special about it. It's almost like you spray it on and it like blurs you out. Like it, it has this like filtered sort of model perfected no texture skin does it like say that it does that anywhere it doesn't even claim that it does that i just noticed it it's it's insane to me that i like spray it on and like my skin looks like face tuned and i'm like Wow, Charlotte, you did that. If you have made it all the way to the end with me, thank you so much for watching. I know this was an excruciatingly long video. I do have a part two coming of like hair, skin, and nails, so stay tuned for that. If you are not yet subscribed and you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this face, consider subscribing. I'm also on social media, Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm at The Beauty Saga on all social media, and I think that's all I got. <laughs> so have a really good day or night wherever you are. Please stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, darlings. <laughs> Bye.